Hey techies, Anthony from Hatchesnet here, and today we're going to check out the Antier Amplified Indoor Outdoor Digital TV Antenna Blah 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 2022 release. It is one of those items that are made in China and that companies resell in bulk to less than tech savvy individuals online. That is exactly why it is here now. My non-tech savvy mother bought it thinking that it would work on her over two decade old CRT standard definition television. I ended up getting her the proper equipment. When we get back, I will tell you why you should not buy this item. Let me start by telling you that I did not test this item. Why, you may ask? Because it's a lie. It is a big, fat lie. Plus, there are plenty of legitimate reviews that tell the story, which we will see later. Right off the carousel of images on the sales page, this over-the-air antenna promises a &E, Animal Planet, AMC, CNN, HGTV, OWN, and WE. Those channels are not available over the air. Another image shows that an USB-AC power adapter is included. It's not. An older television would certainly not have a USB port in which to power this device. Other promises include a 275 plus mile signal range, which is very unlikely unless it is an outdoor antenna, and the best non-commercial one of those has at most a 100 mile range. The filtering out of cellular and FM radio signals is not even required because television uses a different signal range. Being able to pick up signals in all 360 degrees does not specifically improve quality because of the lack of focus in any specific area. Now, the antenna that my mother had purchased came boxed in a um, Mirab Home Digital HD Smart Indoor Antenna Box. Uh, the side of the box says uh, Granny's Home Smart Indoor HD TV Antenna. Clearly, there are some consistency problems here with the labeling. The back of the box shows channels that you may actually be able to pick up locally. But it also says that it has a range between 100 and uh, 120 miles. That is definitely not 275 miles. Short of the USB-AC adapter, the rest is as shown in the listings images. And I will show you by taking the contents out of the box. And um, other than like some basic how to hook it up paperwork and a, and a sticker for mounting the antenna, uh, everything pretty much comes in this one Ziploc. Oh, Ziploc's a brand name, zipper bag. I don't know what we call the generic non ziploc -y bag, but uh, it comes like in pieces. So here's this. And. Um, Let's see, the shape of the antenna gave me some pause as it does not exactly match the item's listing and looks kind of like something else. Uh, use your own imagination to figure that one out, but definitely not the one in the advertisements. Uh, here is the base, it has like a sticker on the back, and then all of this cord, and then the, here's the AC adapter, and then the coaxial, and the USB-A. It has this weird smell to it. Ugh. I told my mother, before you buy anything online, always check the reviews. And she did. The problem is that its 92% five-star rating reviews were primarily in other languages. The English review on top was submitted after she had purchased the item. The Japanese reviews translated are actually about an entirely different item. Which either means that the listing was repurposed or just has purposely fake reviews on it, assuming that English readers would not bother to translate them. I decided to go through the reviews on each page and they almost always talk about something music related. I picked up the names Kusume and Six Tones along the way. I don't know what those are. I guess something Japanese related. Um, but either way, it looks bad for this product. But wait, there is more. Like three more listings of the same item, each with slight variations. Here is one with more item accurate reviews and the five star reviews are primarily in German and about some movie. Then there is this one. The negative reviews are starting to counter the five star fake ratings 
And finally, this one, which was a repurposed French Canadian movie, uh, you can find the links to these items in the video's description. Now, you may be asking why some people who seem legitimate have submitted positive reviews. Well, that is an easy answer. They live in a metropolitan area with broadcast television towers nearby. I'm not saying that these antennas do not work, but certainly they do not work as promised. Dropshippers only care about buying low quality items in bulk and reselling them to people who do not know any better. They assume that most people will not bother to even return the item if they are unsatisfied because of the low cost or the buyer will attribute issues as user error. And if some buyers do bother to want to return the item, the dropshipper will make it difficult so that they can retain the sale. For example, as seen here, for my mother to return her antenna, it would cost at least the price of the antenna to ship it to Azerbaijan. Obviously, that is not going to happen. Let me close this up by reinforcing my point. Do not buy this item. If you have anything to say, post it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe.